alive, you mangy bunch of deck apes! Man the sails! Okay, Snappy, that's pretty lame. Nice voices, though. Thanks, narrator dude. Arr! Look, Jerry! A message in a bottle? Captain Nemo invites you to visit the wreck of the Algoma at the bottom of Lake Superior. All right! On November 7th, 1885, the Canadian Pacific Railway drove the last spike at Krigaliki in the Rocky Mountains, completing Canada's transcontinental railway. Unfortunately, that same day, on the rocky shore of Lake Superior, the CPR lost the pride of its new steamship fleet when the SS Algoma sank. The Algoma was built two years earlier in Glasgow, Scotland, along with its sister ships, the Athabasca and the Alberta. We love the letter A! After sailing across the Atlantic, the ships were split in half in Montreal, passed through the Welland Canal, then reassembled to service the Great Lakes as passenger and cargo ships. On November 5, 1885, the Algoma set sail from Owen Sound through Sault Ste. Marie and on to Port Arthur, now Thunder Bay. It carried a crew of 49, 530 tons of merchandise and more than a dozen passengers who were treated to the latest state-of-the-art technology. Like electric lighting! A blinding snowstorm and heavy gale caught the Algoma, leaving her at nature's mercy. The order by Captain John Moore to change course came too late. Her stern was flung onto a rocky reef, waves crashed against the bow, and the battered ship split in half. The Algoma was wrecked only a short distance off the rocky shore of Isle Royale. Thirty-seven lives were lost. Whoa. Any questions? Uh, yeah. I get why ships sink, like they hit something and water pours in. But what I totally can't figure out is, how does something so heavy float in the first place? Ah, I love the questions about the science! The reason ships float, Jerry, is called... Um, uh, what's it called again, Folger? Buoyancy. A huge steamship like the Algoma is like a floating metal building. Why doesn't it sink? A long time ago in ancient Greece, a mathematician named Archimedes was taking a bath. When he stepped in, some water overflowed over the rim of the tub. Archimedes figured out that if the weight of any object being placed in water is less than the weight of the water displaced, the object will float. Eureka! This is known as buoyancy, or the Archimedes Principle. A metal ship is lighter than the amount of water it displaces because it's not a complete solid. The bottom of the ship, called the hull, is hollow. Even if you add passengers and cargo, it will still float. If the hull fills with water, then you have a problem. But as long as the force is positive, the object rises. Like a message in a bottle. Exactly. Captain Nemo reminds you to find the missing gear in Thunder Bay. Yes, sir, Captain Nemo, sir. Arr. And if you want more info about the wreck of the Algoma, make sure to visit the Thunder Bay Museum. <laughs>